welcome to Kerede Training Solutions. This video is session 7 of Simple and Compound Interest. In this video, I will show you how to solve the term based problems in simple and compound interest. Now, look on the first question. A certain sum of money becomes 5 times itself in 16 years at simple interest. In how many years it will become 9 times itself? So, we all know the simple interest is standard and it is calculated constantly right so if the first year the rate of interest is 10 percentage second year also you will get 10 percentage third year also you will get 10 percentage fourth year also you will get another 10 percentage so totally you will get 40 percentage so simple interest is so standard so here the question given is you are depositing some amount in a bank and the amount become five times in the period of 16 years and the question is in how many years the amount the principal will become nine times itself right so I have an easiest way to solve this problem. So here it is given a certain sum of money becomes 5 times itself in 16 years. You don't know how much you deposited. So you can take any amount. So assume you deposited 100 rupees in the bank and this 100 rupees is becoming 5 times in 16 years. So 5 times in the sense, so it is becoming 500 rupees in 16 years. In how many years it will become 9 times. So 9 times itself means the 100 have to become 900 rupees. So from 100, 500 rupees. So how many rupees increased? 400 rupees increased. So 400 rupees increment happened in how many years? 16 years. So if 400 rupees increment happened in 16 years, you have to find in how many years 800 rupees get increased to reach 900. That means to become 9 times. So if we are 100 to 500, it is 400 rupees increased in 16 years. So from 100 to 900, how, what, how many rupees increased? 800 rupees increased in how many years? Now use unitary method. So if 400 happened in 16 years, 800 will happen in how much? 16 into 2, 32 years. Just double it. 400 into 2, 800. 16 into 2, 32. So the answer is 32 years. So for the first question, the answer is 32 years. So you can use the same method to find the second question because the question is based on simple interest. A certain sum of money becomes four times itself in eight years at simple interest. In how many years it will become 16 times. Okay, since you don't know how much you deposited in the bank, you can take the amount as 100 rupees and it is becoming 4 times in how many years? 8 years. So 4 times means 400 rupees in 8 years. The question is in how many years it will become 16 times. 16 times means 1600 rupees. 16 times itself, so 1600 rupees. So how many rupees increment happened? 300 rupees. So this 300 rupees increment happened in 8 years. You have to find from 100 to 1600. 1500 rupees increment happened in how many years? Use unitary method 300 into 5, 1500, 8 into 5, 40 years. So the answer is 40 years for the second question. So here the option is 40. Now the next question is similar model but the only difference is in the previous model we looked the problem for simple interest. In this model we are going to look for compound interest. Right? Now read this question. A sum of money placed at compound interest doubles itself in 4 years. In how many years it will amount to 8 times. So listen carefully, a sum of money become placed at compound interest doubles itself in 4 years. So number of times and number of years. So doubles itself in the, in the, in the sense it's 2 times. So 2 times in how many years? 4 years. The question is in how many years it will amount to 8 times. So in how many years it will amount to 8 times. Now you have to represent 8 in the term of 2. So you can write 8 as 2 into 2 into 2. So 2 into 2 into 2 gives 8 times. 
it means in the right hand side you have to write it as 4 plus 4 plus 4 so 4 plus 4 plus 4 it gives you 12 so in 12 years it will become 8 times you are getting right a sum of money becomes 2 times in 4 years in how many years it will become 8 times in 12 years now second question same model so for the first question the answer is 12 years A certain sum of money becomes 4 times in 7 years at compound interest. In how many years it will become 64 times? Number of times and number of years. 4 times in 7 years, right? So 4 times happened in 7 years. In how many years it will become 64 times? So 64 times in the sense you have to represent 64 in the term of 4. So you can write 4 into 4, 16, 16 into 4, 64. So in right hand side you have to write 7 plus 7 plus 7. So 7 plus 7 plus 7 gives you 21. So in 21 years, the amount will become what? 64 times, right? Last question. If a sum of if a sum on compound interest becomes 3 times in 4 years, then with the same interest rate, the sum will become 81 times in DAS. Number of times, number of years. 3 times in 4 years. 81 times in how many years? So you have to represent 81 times in the term of 3. So you can write 3 into 3, 9, 9 into 3, 27, 27 into 3, 81. So in the right hand side, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. So 4 plus 4, 8, 4 plus 4, 8, 8 plus 8, 16. So in 16 years, it will become how many times? 81 times. I hope you understood the concept and enjoy this lesson. So if you like my video, click the like button, subscribe my channel and click the bell, bell button to get the instant notification. And if you hold any doubts, please, please pause it on the comment system. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.